Hi, this is Miss Jill again. I'm coming to you from my grandson's backyard and look what we have here. What do we have here, Gavin? Chicks. Can you hold them up and show them, the chicks? What are their names? Richard, Rosie, Sweetie. We have Richard, Rosie, and Sweetie. And we, we had a lot of fun playing with these on Resurrection Day. You know, I wanna to talk to you today about life. This little baby chick really wanted to have life. It took a lot of work. You know, you think about the Easter egg, this, this Easter egg, we know that hopefully it's hard boiled, right? If I cracked it on Kevin's head, it would not be very fun if it wasn't hard boiled. But you know, the, the baby, we, we can't even tell if there was a baby in it or if it was hard boiled or what. It looks lifeless. An egg looks lifeless. But Jesus said he came to give us life and life more abundantly. And this little baby chick came out of an egg like this, except, of course, it wasn't an Easter egg, but some of them were green and brown and white. And so you had to predict, right, Kevin? Yeah. Yeah. And so uh, anyway, they're pretty sleepy because we've been playing with them all day. You want to hold them up again while we're doing this and so they can really see them. So the message today was about 21 days. Do you know what it takes 21 days to change a habit? It takes 21 days for a baby chick to hatch out of an egg. That's a really amazing. And yet, while they're working, getting ready to hatch out at 21 days, they're doing nothing. So I look at this egg, and it's hard, and it sits there and does nothing, Kevin. No. It's, it, doesn't, it looks lifeless. There's no life in it at all. But on the 21st day, all of a sudden, this little baby chick, this little sweetie, they have like a little egg tooth on the end of their bill and they start to use that egg or that egg tooth to, to peck out of their egg. And it takes so much perseverance. You know, perseverance means to keep going, to not give up, to have faith. During this time that we're staying at home and we don't get to go to school, we have to have perseverance just like this baby chick did. And God said he wants to give us life and life more abundantly. So we have to be like the baby chick and start pecking, you know, start doing the things that we need to do. And it took this baby chick maybe 24 hours to get out of this egg. He'd peck a little bit and then he'd rest and he'd peck a little bit more. And finally, finally he was able to get out of the egg. And when he finally gets out about an hour later, he's up running about and doing everything that life has to offer him, right? Mm -hmm. He's like a live baby chick running around. Maybe, Let's just put it down here and see if they'll, they'll wake up. When, when the chick is getting ready to hatch, nothing. And then when it's ready to uh, come out, we see life. And Jesus said he gave us life. I love these two scriptures. One says, for the fountain of life pours into you every time that you find me. And this is the secret of growing in the delight and the favor of the Lord. It's in Proverbs 8, 35. It says, if you know Jesus right? Then, then you can have the secret of growing in the delight and favor of him. And then it says, when you live a life of abandoned love, do you love Jesus? Kevin? Yeah. Yeah. And you surrendered before the awe of God. And here's what you'll experience. You know what Jesus said you'll experience? Abundant life. Abundant life. That means a lot of life, just like these baby chicks. And then continual protection and complete satisfaction. Were you satisfied today when you mm -hmm. celebrated yeah. the resurrection, Gavin? Were you satisfied today? Oh, uh, yeah. You got lots of chocolate, lots of chicks. Mm -hmm. So we had a great time. So that was in Proverbs 19.23. So you guys remember, we're going to persevere through this, and we're going to crack through and have life and life more abundantly, and we're going to have a great time while we're staying at home. And in Jesus' name, amen. Yep. <laughs>